Hi again, back with this simple but effective video. I have a 10 year old niece that's really into gaming and game development. Like her dad, she eventually wants to produce games in the future. My brother asked if I had a spare laptop for her and I ended up with this Sony Vio laptop that I got donated a long time ago. Now this is a fairly old model, but as you will see along the way, old doesn't mean dysfunctional. In fact, this one has a 10 generations old i3 CPU from the 2000 series, but with some upgrades and refurbishing, we can still make this a simple starter laptop. This thing has been lying in my project rack for a long time, so I first need to clean it up. It's full of sticker residue on the outside. Moving to the inside, you can see how much the yellow keyboard consumed a lot of dirt. I wipe most of it off with a wet cloth, then proceed with cleaning it with another cloth, this time with alcohol. Look at how dirty that screen is. Jeez. Now it's time to install some new parts that will speed up this laptop enormously. As you might have guessed, a solid state drive will replace this senior drive with a basic 128GB of space. Windows 10 takes about 20GB when finished, so there's 100GB left for her projects. More than enough. Another thing that will improve this computer is upgrading the RAM modules. The module present here is an Alpido one with 4GB and there's some room left for another module to stack that memory. I insert back the Alpida and insert another RAM module with a 2GB capacity. And I could have stopped here, but if I want to make this laptop more than just speedy, I need to go the extra mile, so I opted to open the complete back cover, easily accessible by removing tons of screws. It's then more of a thing removing the plastic back plate. Now I have plastic spudgers to avoid breaking or damaging the plastic cover, but I started by using a sturdier screwdriver, as I need a bit more force to click out the clips. Opening up reveals something I dearly miss in modern day laptops, just easy access to every component if you ever need to replace parts. For a good measure, I use pressured air to get rid of any leftover dust. The two-way refurbishing part lays in this first, which is the copper channel fan that is full of accumulated dust. Underneath are the CPU and GPU chips, which I will come back to. Cleaning this thing is easy as I blow out the dirt with the pressure cam. Then, I remove the old cooler paste from both copper channel guiders. Coming back to the motherboard, as I remove the old paste here, as well with the tissue and alcohol, and I clean up that leftover dirt. I put on fresh paste back on these components, which I censor to avoid discussions. And I'm finished here, so I put back together every part where it needs to be. Before I do that however, I clean up the screen hinges, because the oil fats that keep it snappy have sucked up a lot of dirt as well. Time to give this thing a first boot. The screen is a bit glossy, but you can see in the BIOS that the SSD and memory have been recognized. Time to install Windows 10. As this is, as always, super boring, I will skip this. After more than 20 hours of installing updates, it finally finished. To kick off her game development, I installed Unity Hub, and her new adventure forward begins. I want to thank you for watching this simple and tiny video. If you liked it, I would appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe is highly appreciated. This will keep you updated whenever a new video is released. I will see you on the next video.